couch dogs need the lesson Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? I'm Asaf Levavi and I welcome you to the fourth lesson in Finally Understanding Chords, the 10 Lesson Chord Theory course right here on Lickin' Riff, for free, of course, as everything is here on Lickin' Riff. So we've been unlocking the guitar neck secrets in everything that has to do with harmony. And if you haven't watched the previous lessons, even if you think you know the basic stuff, I strongly suggest you watch them because uh, you might be surprised. I've been uh, dissecting the basic chord shapes in depth to show you how and where to add embellishments. We've been covering the embellishments in the previous lesson and in this lesson we're starting to touch the more complex stuff. In this lesson we'll talk about augmented chords, diminished chords, diminished seven chords and minor seven flat five chords which are also called half diminished. So um, before we touch those chords, I strongly suggest you watch everything up uh, to this point, including the introduction, because otherwise you won't understand this table. Um, and uh, it's really important to understand what all these numbers mean and why they're in this order. So uh, go watch it. This lesson will be here when you're done. Now, um, we're starting to touch complex harmony here with augmented, diminished, diminished sevens and uh, minor seven flat five chords. And um, I must tell you right now, there's no real easy way to explain these chords, these harmonies, because you really have to learn how to hear them, to learn how to appreciate them. And even, you know, everyone, even, uh, you know, big guitar players, big musicians, even when I was a beginner, I really didn't like these chords. They sounded really weird. And uh, you just have to acquire the taste for them. So I'll explain what they mean and I'll try my best to explain why they look the way they do and um, give you kind of a backdoor approach to these chords because explaining the theory behind them is a mess. So um, just try to learn compositions or chord progressions that have those chords within them and you'll see the connections that they make musically. So. Let's start with the augmented chord before we touch the diminished family. The augmented chord, uh, fin first what, finally, <laughs> I wish it was finally, we're just getting started, Freudian slip. So um, augmented means that you're taking the fifth note of the chord. Remember if we're in A, then we have one, five, eight, and so on. So we're taking five and raising it to sharp five. Okay, this means augmented. You augment the chord by raising the fifth. So you get this. This is an augmented A chord. Now if you want a full augmented A chord, then you have to augment the second five you have on the E string. So it's this. Okay. And this shape you get is an augmented chord in itself. So that's the meaning of augmented, a raised fifth. Now in C, you have the fifth on the third string, so it, it becomes this. It becomes an F shape, just a string up physically. A string down musically, but a string up physically. Okay, so you get an F shape. If you take F and take it to strings two, three, four, and five, you get an augmented chord, a C augmented chord. And uh, that's basically everything there is to say about augmented chords. Except for the fact that every four strings you get a voicing, a new voicing of the same uh, augmented chord. And again, I won't get too much into the complex theory behind it. Just trust me when I say that if you play C augmented and you take it four frets up, this is also C augmented, and take it four frets up, it's also C augmented. Sorry? Okay. So uh, that's uh, one of the major uses for uh, augmented runs in jazz, for example. So the diminished chord is the other way around. Uh, if you take A and lower the fifth, um, the fifth note to flat five, you get a diminished chord. And um, in C, that 
that's a bit more difficult to pull off because uh, you, well, you can't really do this, can you? You will do something like this. So if we're in C, then you'll take it, um, you'll take it here. But this gets us into bar chords area. And this is the flat five, so. This is uh, the diminished idea. The idea behind the diminished chord is that you have a flat five instead of a normal five. So if you take A and lower the fifth, then you get a diminished chord. Just remember not to play the fifth here, because then the flat five uh, becomes a raised 11. Uh, because you've added it to the chord, so uh, avoid that. Okay? And why is that, by the way? Because 4 is 11, and if 4 is 11, then if, you, if it's not flat 5 above it, it's sharp 11. Uh, but I told you, it, it gets messy when you talk about diminished chords. But the beautiful application of diminished chords is when you start uh, playing with diminished 7 chords. And the diminished seven chord, if we want to get a backdoor approach into the diminished uh, seven chord, is this. Play a seventh chord and raise the bass note by a fret. Okay? And then you get B flat diminished seven. Okay? Or more commonly called B flat diminished. It's this shape. Okay, it's this. You've heard it all before. Okay, and the cool thing about diminished chords is, like the augmented chords, they get a new voicing every three frets. Okay, augmented get a new voicing every four frets. Diminished gets um, a new voicing every three frets. Again, I don't want to get into the theory and really bum you out, uh, but just trust me. So um, you have more diminished uh, shapes, but they're more complex in terms of shapes on the guitar. I want to keep this close to the simple chord shapes. So if you take an A7 shape and raise the, uh, the bass, you get a diminished chord, a diminished 7 chord. Okay, so this is C sharp diminished, and this is C diminished. Now, the really interesting thing happens when you raise this note here and base your diminished chord on a major seven chord. If this is A major seven, okay, and not A seven, and you raise this uh, bass note. And now let's take the direct route and see why this works. This is B flat minor 7 flat 5 or half diminished um, and um, if we want A half diminished A minor 7 flat 5 we just play this okay and now let's take the more direct route and see why that works um, if we play A minor and we play A minor 7 by taking the finger off of the third string and we lower the fifth to a flat five, we get this chord, this chord shape. Okay? And this too, because it's a diminished chord, it's half diminished, but it's diminished because it has a flat five, gets a new voicing um, every three frets. Okay, this is a bit different. Uh, voicing wise every time you go uh, three frets up or down but it's basically the same rule and you hear that a lot in jazz so um, what about other shapes um, as I showed you in the basic structure lesson remember every time you go up or down the strings you have to compensate on the second string so if we play this shape take it down, down physically, we have to compensate on the second string and we get this, which is the same shape as the half diminished chord. But when on strings one, two, three, and four, we get the diminished seven chord. And 
And um, when we take the half diminished shape and we take it down physically, we have to compensate on the second uh, string, upper fret, and we get this. Now, uh, this is where it gets interesting because if you add this bass note to it, it becomes a normal jazz ninth chord as I showed you in the previous lesson. Because this note is also in the bar. So, uh, you see, music starts getting interesting at this point. Uh, I told you we're touching complex ground. So, um, just to recap. Augmented is raised 5, diminished is flat 5. So if we play C here and we lower the 5th, we get a diminished chord. And if we have this, which is a 7th chord, which with the uh, bass note up a fret, we get the diminished 7th shape. And if we raise this, we get the minor 7 flat 5, which is the half diminished shape, which we can also reach by a more direct route by taking this, turning it into a minor, making it a 7, and lowering the 5th. And uh, that's all I'm gonna say about these chords. I promise the fun resumes in the next lesson where we'll talk about um, alternated bass chords. This is going to be really interesting um, before we jump into um, taking, uh, taking flight all over the neck. So um, I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you very much for watching. And don't forget, share this series and this course with anyone you want. Uh, everybody's got a right to learn guitar for free right here on Lickin' Riff. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.